I treat an awful lot of people for an awful lot of varying conditions to a large extent because I've had this relationship with the National Health Service for um, eight, nine years now. So I, I get a lot of people referred to me from dermatology departments and things like that to be treated for hyperhidrosis and this and that. Some people are good hypnotes, some people are bad hypnotes. We don't know why. We don't know why. We don't know why. We do know why. It's because great hypnotes have a corpus callosum which has a part of the corpus callosum called the rostrum which is 30% bigger. And there's been more than this research. I mean, it was done first in 1999, as I say. It was done again later on. And the fact of the matter is that there is no single incidence yet found of good hypnotes with a small rostrum. But this has real implications for how you go about treating your patients, obviously. Where you've got a great hypnoti, and you can do that, look into my eyes, go to sleep, when I clap my hands, you're fixed. Wake up. That's what I call clinical hypnotism, and in that, 98% of your outcome is going to come from the hypnotism. Where you have somebody with only a slightly engorged rostrum, so you can do a bit of hypnosis with them, but not really very. You're down to what I've referred to for a long time, and the words caught on, which I think of as relaxotherapy.